Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. Today I want to show you how to drain a water heater. Water heater should be drained about once a year to get all the sediment out and this will help your water heater to last longer and it'll help it to run more efficiently. It's something that many people neglect. Some people don't ever drain a water heater, but if you'll drain it about once a year, uh, you can certainly increase the life and efficiency of your water heater. So let me show you how to do that. First thing you need to do is make sure you've got the power off to the water heater. So whether it's a gas water heater or an electric water heater, turn the power off either at the thermostat or here at the circuit breaker. And this is the drain valve. What you need to do is hook a water hose up to it and run the other end of the water hose either outside or into a floor drain, whatever you have handy, depending on the location of the water heater. So we're going to do that now. My water heater's in the garage, so I'm just running the hose out through the garage door out to the driveway. So there's two ways you can drain a water heater. You can just simply let it drain by gravity, and to do that you shut the water off to the water heater and open the valve and just let it drain. The other way is to leave the pressure on, the water on to the water heater, and that will force water out and sometimes that does not give it as good of a cleaning. Sometimes a combination is best. A lot of times I'll let it drain simply by gravity, then I'll turn the water on to stir any sediment that's left in the bottom of the water heater, and then I'll do some more gravity draining and try to get as much out as I can. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna shut the water off. To do that, you just simply Turn this valve where it's perpendicular to the pipe. So now that water's off. But there's one more thing you need to do because if I simply open the valve, then it's going to try to pull a vacuum in the water heater. So you can either open up the relief valve. And that'll allow air to be drawn in. Or you can open up a hot water faucet which will also allow air to be drawn in and this will help it to drain better. So now you simply take a screwdriver, open this valve, basically just turn it 90 degrees and that will start the water heater to draining. You can hear the air coming in as the water gurgles out. Now, while that's draining, I'll tell you this, that if it's been a while since you've drained your water heater, there could be a lot of sediment. I mean, there can be inches and inches of sediment in the bottom of your water heater. Sometimes that will clog the drain valve. Uh, if you watch the end of the hose and water start or stops coming out, then one thing you can do is turn the water onto the water heater for a few seconds and allow the pressure to force some of the stuff through the valve and hopefully get the flow started again. And to do that, you're going to need to close that shutoff valve. And if you open the faucet inside the house, you need to close that so that there can be pressure in the water heater to push that through. But sometimes that's necessary. So we'll let this drain and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it's pretty well stopped. Uh, draining out there in the driveway. So I'm going to give it one more quick flush and we'll be finished with this project. So I just want to run a little bit more water into it to stir up any more sediment that's in the bottom. We'll get, let it drain for another minute or two then we'll be finished. So you can see some sediment coming out of it. Look at this right here. You can see the white specks floating around. Since that was so effective, I think I'll do it one more time. Don't know how well you can see this, but there's a lot of 
white stuff floating around that came out of this water heater. Okay, the water is pretty well stopped draining out of the hose. This thing is empty. I'm going to close this. I need to close the relief valve. Open the fill valve and let it start filling up. Now you want to leave a faucet open because it's got to have a way to push the air out of the water heater. So this will go on for a few minutes till the water heater is full. Okay, so this project is done. So that's all there is to draining a water heater. You'll do that about once a year. It'll help prolong the life of your water heater. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I sure appreciate you watching. Have a great day.